Last today, we have studied about development and there are several factors uh, deciding development like uh, per capita income, uh, health, life expectancy, literacy and at the same time we studied different goals Every people have their own goals in their life. A farmer has his own goal in his life. A farmer who is, a, who is from a, a land owning family has his own uh, uh, goals in his life. A rich boy from uh, urban area has his own goals in his life. So, likewise, many uh, factors uh, we have studied yesterday. Let us continue the lesson. Uh, here, today, we are going to compare nations on the basis of income. Let us compare nations. How we compare the nations? Which agency compare the nation? On what base? These nations are being compared. Let us see. So, I am going to take uh, some students of my class. I took five uh, students for comparing uh, among them. When I compared, I understood that they are different in their heights, different in their weights, different in their talent, different in their attitude, different in their knowledge. Everybody is different. See, in that situation, I will take average student who has somewhat all-round development. For example, an intelligent boy in a class may not be a friendliest one. He may not talk to anyone else, always focusing on studies. An healthy boy may not be a studious one. I mean, he may not be intelligent. So, students I found different in their talent, different in their knowledge. In the same way, so when uh, when uh, when I found these difference, I thought. It is better to take average the children who are having all these knowledge. Average. In the same way, we are going to compare on the basis of average. Here, we are going to compare the nation on the basis of average income. Population of different countries are different. Population 
population of country, different countries are different. This is the reason why we take average. This is the reason why we take average. So in this way, we compared uh, different students by taking average. Now, on the basis of average, we are going to compare different nations. So already I told you, there are agencies. There are agencies to compare the nations. First agency, where the bank? World Bank has got another name. You know, IDRD, International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. This is the another name of World Bank. World Bank has an agency. That agency's name is UNDP. UNDP. United Nations Development Program. This agency, according to its World Report, World Development Report of 2012, they are going to uh, take the data of 2012 on the basis. They are going to compare according to the World Development Report of World Bank. America, US is uh, average is 12,616. This is Indian money. When we compare, when we multiply this 12,616 into dollar, the amount will be changed. So on the basis of that, those countries whose per capita income is 12,660 US dollar, US dollar, US dollar, how we will write that? US dollar, this is dollar. So 12,616, this is which year's data? 2012. So, those countries which uh, whose uh, per capita income is 12,616 US dollar were considered as developed country. See, our country India, very less. How can we uh, claim that ours is a developed nation? We never blame. I'm not blaming. Ours, uh, according to 2000, uh, according to 2012 data, our country's per capita income is uh, around 1500. 12,000 were 1500 were. Definitely, you can understand. So, World Bank, in its World Development Report, compared nation on the basis of per capita income. The data I gave you, 12,616 US. They divided the country on the basis of income. How? High income country, middle income country, low income country. Now you could understand. In this, for this purpose, we are going to do average. Because average gives a certain a data. For example, take 
state of the country India people of India's income is different my income is my income is not Adesh Mukesh Ambani's income is not my income so we cannot uh, compare uh, on this basis so we take our age so remember that average average income average income is called per capita income why we use average for calculating per capita income because population of a country is different population of a country is different this is the reason why we do average now you now you may have understood that how to compare understood this is what we studied in the uh, for comparing yes let us study another 